Cruz. That's a good shot handled there by Como. Now to the point, Will Yi. Shoot, scores! On a harmless looking play, Will Yi pinched in from his blue line position. I thought he might have been looking for a pass out front. He fired that from a bad angle. We'll have a look to see if this goes off a body or not. Uh, yeah, but I think good. it went off of uh, the defender. Doherty back out there for this faceoff, wins it in the offensive zone. Now Atwell, he has some room. Atwell with the shot, he scores! Alex Atwell calls his own number and just five seconds into the power play after an important faceoff win by Colin Doherty. D to D and Alex. And another goal as Lyons comes in across, cuts around the defenseman. Busy listening to the public address announcer announce the penalty and the goal. And it is Alex, or sorry, Sam Lyons, who goes wire to wire. Nicholas Jones was looking to do nothing other than score a goal. And here's a shot down the ice. And that does find the back of the net. And it's going to be Chase Christensen who ices this one for the storm. The empty netter from about 156 and a half feet makes its way down the ice into the center of the awning cage in Grand Prairie with two. Wow. And now Olds has it as they come through the neutral zone. Seely makes a move around one man into a pile of blue sweaters. There's a giveaway and a shot and a goal. And it is going to be Mitch Patrick getting it. And a bad giveaway for the Storm in their own zone. Olds came in one on four, not even a scoring opportunity. And Grant will bring twos in for the Storm. Twos wins it over to Corbet. Now twos has it, brings it in off the line, looking for Thorne. Thorne was open, took a swat, and there's a goal! And it's going to be Davis sneaking in from the point, Carter Davis. Reads that play as Thorne unable to convert the pass across from twos. Davis, and he'll clear the zone to Atwell, who will fire that puck on goal. Bury skaters had to stay out due to that puck being cleared over the glass. Now here's Rampton, two on one with Moxham. Rampton finds Moxham, and he can't fire that puck home, and now he does. He banks that one off of Jones, and that just crossed the line. And just like that, the old Grizzlies have the lead back. A two on one that was generated, turn. intercepted. Doherty goes after it to the point, not out. Cunningham boots it forward. Now the puck does come out, and it's going to be Atwill. Alex Atwill, leading score for the Storm, heads to the net. He looks for that pass, doesn't get it. Doherty, there's a shot to goal! Chase Christensen ties it up for the Storm! Just like that, Colin Doherty sends it to the net. Christensen puts the stick blade down, and we are tied. Doherty the only assist on Christensen's second of the playoffs, not his first. Chance right there, big save, another one, pucks there, and it's in the net. And just like that, the Grizzlies come right back on the very next shift and regain the lead. Grand Prairie with all sorts of opportunities to clear the zone. And it's going to be Connor Seeley with the heartbreaker of a goal. Five. Oh, left hand shot on the right wing half wall. Back up top for Skrillitz. Back to Atwell. Atwell into the slot. Missed the stick of his teammate there. But from the far side, they get it and fire one home and score. Top shelf glove side. It's Samuel Lyons giving the Grand Prairie Storm the lead on their second power play chance. His goal comes at 9.38. Just a great shot from the outside. He was Holds able to. Tong with one more chance to Dallas, far corner, up the boards, runs into Lions, and the second effort gets it to headers, a two on one, down the wing, hit in the left wing side, it's right or gray horse, he snakes one, he snakes one, he scores to tie the game, 3-0-1 into the second period of play, he finished the season with no goals in his final 14 regular season games, held off the score sheet in terms of goals in games one and two, but he pots a huge one here in game three at home.
him Boy. in the neutral zone, lifts his stick, makes the pass to Thornton, one on two into the offensive zone. Now gets some help, arriving his rider, many gray horses, into the slot, here's Moxham with a bullet that goes just wide. Moxham on the half boards near side, looks to distribute, it gets a cross, here's a drive, a score! He's hot, he got one, he's got two, it's rider, many gray horses on the power play. He scores and it is 2-1 Grizzlies as they take the lead on the power play in period two. You think rider, many gray horses is feeling it? Grizzlies and have been in this series so far. Off the defensive zone draw, the storm on the power play. They get it to the front of the net. They get a backhand try and they get a score. It's Alex Adwell. He scores three seconds into the storm power play to tie the game at two as the goal comes at the 1450 mark of this second period of play. Alex Atwell was held off the score sheet by the old wrapped up by the arm of Corbet along the end boards. It pops free to the side of the net. Grizzlies to the line, not out. Bouncing puck, Yee keeps it in. William Yee, center point, Cunningham. His shot goes through, he scores! It didn't come out, and it ends up in the back of the net. The Storm take a 3-2 lead on their second power play goal on five chances this afternoon. Yeah, that is, uh, I believe, the third, actually, now, Galen. Third power play goal. To the corner, Tong for the Grizzlies. Gets it past Atwell, but not Doherty. Atwell then into the slot, looking for Christensen. It's deflected away by Dallas, and now here comes Cade Moxham down the right wing side. Left-hand shot, Grizzlies captain puts it at the net. It goes just in front of the crease. It threw to the boards near side. Held in by McKinty, then centered, and uh, it's going to be a tying goal. Moxham sets up Gage Giblin, and he wrists one past Nicholas Jones. The Grizzlies respond, and they've tied the game at 8.06 as Gage Giblin takes the feed from Moxham, and he buries it. Once again, the, look at this. Yes. And then the Grizzlies pump it off the boards with Cunningham at the line. Across to the far side to the right. Shot at the net. Goes wide. Big chance here. It goes in. They score in overtime as the rebound in the near corner was pushed in. It passed Como. And the hero in extra time is Samuel Lyons. He has the skate away play in the Grand Prairie Storm. Survive game three in Olds. And Stalemate at the moment. Seeley also in there. It comes back for Tong, and he pokes it free for Patrick. Patrick at the center point, turns on the forehand, in the slot. His shot is off the crossbar, and in, he scores! Mitch Patrick has the goal. The old Grizzlies have the lead. It comes at the 2.39 mark of the second period. For the second time in the series, he lights the lamp with the opening goal of a game. Yeah. Listen, I thought Mitch Patrick initially put that in the back of the net. The referee was... It got blocked, and now Doherty the other way. Colin Doherty to center, Doherty over the line, into the slot, Georgie shot right on, Como the save, rebound, goes in! Doherty got a piece of it in the storm, respond and tie the game at one at 3.04. Yeah, and I think this one might have come off the stick of Quinn Abbott as well as he was just under a little bit of distress there at the side of the net. A in real the near side corner. Thornton there as well. It comes up the boards and the Storm will skate it out. Here's Spencer Hughes. His rink wide pass for Capetti. Trying to go wide. From a sharp angle. The shot, the rebound, the score. The Grand Prairie Storm. It's Samuel Lyons for the fourth time in this series yes. as he scores on the rebound and puts GP up 2-1. to one. The goal comes at the 10-30 mark. Lions absolutely hungry in the offensive zone. He is all over things, and there he makes the they come with Thorne. They move it across and into the far corner. Abbott keeps it there. Abbott then, as Thorne stumbled down, the Grizzlies got it to the front of the net. It's loose. Moxham pokes it away, trying to drag it out of the zone. Couldn't get it out. The Storm have players going to the net. It's wide open. Two's across. Corbet scores. It is a tragic non-exit at the blue line for the black and gold that was on the blue yeah. line it didn't get out and tic-tac-toe it's a two goal deficit yeah no excuses there that puck has got to get out there is no able to dodge mckinty and up icy comes against rider mini gray horses who makes a poke check and then forces him to the corner boards in the old zone, it comes back to the right point, and here's Gansky's shot, change direction. They score and make it 4-1 at the 2.29 mark of the third period. Cash Gansky from the right point. Yeah, that came off a grizzly stick in the high slot. I believe that might have been Ryder Many Gray Horses who got oh. the... Grizzlies for William Patey, near faceoff circle in his own zone, ahead to center, bounces uh, to Corbet, and at the Grizzlies line, they stay on side. Here comes Thorne, he gets poke checked at the last second by Patey, finds it in the corner, back to the point it goes. Skrilla to a high shot, Come off on. the end boards, came out front. Hughes jams away and he scores. Spencer Hughes scores to make it 5-1, to one, and that is certainly curtains for this series for the Olds Grizzlies and their opportunity at one more chance at a do-over and a try to get into the postseason. 
Galen, I've been I've been in every this. game of this uh, series. Last night, the Grizzlies had 11 rookies in the lineup. The Storm had 10. Up ice, the Grizzlies with Giblin putting it to the crease. And it goes to the near boards. And Rampton behind the net. Giblin comes out front. They save his main. No one goes off the pad and in. Kate Moxham set up by Gage Giblin. And the Grizzlies get one more goal here, at least with 141 left to play. Gage Moxham scoring to make it 5-2. to two. Well, if nothing else, it's a goal that she can feel good about to close off the season here. Gage Giblin, that might even be Cade Moxham who gets credit for this one at the end of the day. But Look chasing after it against Priddle. Look has it. Goes around behind the net as Priddle stays with him. Turns away from him now. Priddle hits the boards. Look has the puck still. In behind the net, tries to beat it out in front. It's in the crease area. Scramble for it. It comes loose over to Luck. Scores! Ethan Luck opens the scoring. The persistence in front of the net. Got the puck loose. And Ethan Luck fires it in the net. 1 0 Canmore. 4 42 into this hockey game. Middle of the ice. Ziegler and breakaway. In on goal. Forehand. Save. Stewart rebounds. It's under. Sure scores! Ziegler gave it a wrap as he went by the goalie, and it slides into the net, and it's 2 0 Canmore. So, two comes and gets to it. That gets knocked down for his efforts, and the puck comes out to center. A nice play by Mortensen to get the puck back. He's got Look with him. Look takes a shot, scores! Ethan Look, his second of the game. Brody Mortensen with the great play. At the blue line. Cage Stewart couldn't stop that one. On the ice. Took a while for the drop. We've seen a lot of that delay drops here in this, uh, in this hockey game. Lockman downloaded to County. So the goal throws it up in front. Scores! Logan Ziegler! 4 0 Canmore. The county just put the puck in the crease. And Logan Ziegler pounded it underneath Stewart. Pass meant for Lockman, that's intercepted with, but now the county steals it back. Cross ice to Castle towards the net. It goes off a skate right to the county. Scores. Right to county. Make it five for the Canmore Eagles. Castle fired the puck, Stewart made the save. Long rebound right to the county, and he just wired it into the open net. And Stewart was down. And to Tallman, to Hudson, and it's a look over to, to Carter, Zacco two, one-timer, three-nothing Canmore. Zacco two. And well, the Eagles will get it out. Melvin trying to regain his composure there in the net. Now Campbell has it, and he goes around Tolman and then tries to put it at the front of the net. It comes back to Matembo. He fires a shot. Mellon makes it safe. Scramble in front, and they're going to call it a goal. In the scramble. Getting his stick on it. I'm not quite sure. Let's see, it's going to be Saddlemeyer leading the celebrations here. Lost his own. He doesn't get it out. The county, he's got two on one with Lockman. Ziegler joins the rush as well. Scores! Tyler Lockman turned into a three on one. Now 
In the county with the pass, Nordstrom now feeds it below line for Casey Black. Cycles it in behind that right corner. There's Ethan Look looking back door for Kutu. Instead, he'll just skate towards the blue line. Dodges the check of DeFlorio. Bottom of the right hand circle. Look now has a stick lifted by DeFlorio. Chips it blue line, but not quite out. Up top, it's Mortensen. Winds, fires, he scores! Brody Mortensen puts it past a screen. Gage Stewart. And for the third straight game, the Eagles open the scoring in this series. Boy, talk to into the second period. The county wins the faceoff. Right hand point for Hudson Wines. Fires Pat save made by Stewart. Heinrichs on the puck first. He'll chip it blue line. Out to center ice is Carter Schmidt. Two on one with Cocksmith. Down the right wing is Schmidt. In front for Cocksmith. Stop rebound. They score. to do so in the neutral zone. Right wing for Prittle, trying to feed it ahead for Nukendorn, but it's just out of his reach. Lamana has it right hand point, holds, waits, tracked down from behind by Logan Ziegler. Puck comes over to Florio, back door, he scores! Blocked by Cogsmith and the skittering puck just missed McPherson Ridgewell. He scoops it up, feeds it blue line for Hudson. Up top for Brody Tallman. Left circle for Owen Jones. Looking back door, doesn't have a lane. Now he'll go for it. They score! Nathan McPherson Ridgewell chops it over top of the glove of Gage Stewart. And this game is tied at 2-2. Only took 22 seconds for the Eagles to break through on that power play as... He finds Cox Smith wide left, holds, waits, fires, shoulder save made by Mallon. Coons a drive stop by Mallon. Tallman will skip up the loose puck and he'll work it slowly up to his own blue line. Lead feed for Ziegler, trying to split the defense. Puck's on his backhand. He'll go right, left side for Raji in towards goal. A backhander shot, they score! Eagles win it. The season for the Oil Barons is over as they pour off the bench. Canmore will head to the AJHL playoffs. It's over in a hurry. 43 seconds in. The Oil Barons had a couple good. Well, the X will try to kill off the rest of this period here. And Brenner fires at the length of the ice. Hodge after it there. Oh, look out. Ouch. Goes hard into the end boards backwards. Gets back up. He's got the puck. And he scores! Are you kidding me? Now oh. gone in this major power play. Here's Garrett Tom now. Fusion fell. Tom down the right wing side. Walks in. Back at scores! Grant Fusion blew a tire. And I think Ironside is going to get an assist on that uh, Garrett Tom goal. Here's a pass in front. They score! It's another power play goal for Ty Hodge, who's got a cheering section. And you see that Moffat would be a key part of his hockey club, and he's lost him for the rest of game one. Fedorf now, a pass ahead to Tardif. Tardif walks in, shoots, score! Well, Brendan Fedorf will get an assist on that one, I have no doubt net with a minute and a half to go in the period. There's a pass right wing side. Brought in by Gherkin. Gherkin trying to get to the front of the net. Can't get a shot away. Now there's a shot they score. Grant Fusion will get the goal for the Thunder as they get on the board with that one. Fusion, the shot. Gherkin. Pass taken away by Cooper Brown. He'll play it up ahead now. Brought in by Bessie. Stood up by Trotter. Back to Brown. He scores. And a late goal and an early goal here.
wiggles his way to center, drops it back to Gordon. Ty Gordon down the right wing side. Around Larkin, centers it back. Oh boy, dangerous pass, shot, they score. A dangerous pass. And then the shot, and it bounced off something and got in behind Ironside, and we got ourselves a one-goal hockey game here. We're the 24th here against Lloyd Minster when Kodiak's got off to that big 4-0 lead and ended up losing that hockey game. They did it against Lloyd Minster as well earlier, and they tie it up, Gherkin the goal, and it's a 4-4 hockey game. And that puck squirted loose. Gherkin, Johnny on the spot. Out and down the ice. Up ahead here for Gordon at center. He'll dish it to Grenier. Grenier will bring it in. Grenier, shot, save, Ironside, they score. On the power play. And the Drayton Valley Thunder will come all the way back and win this hockey game. Found that audio, and uh, Brad talks about coming to the Kodiaks organization after playing in Drayton Valley in that big 2001 final series. That was the last time these two teams met in the playoffs. Here's Masters in front. They score! Well, guess who? It's number 10, Ty Hodge, and another beautiful... Plays it up ahead, Grenier to Gordon, left wing side, back for Grenier to Farron. In front, they score. And it is Ty Gordon with the goal on that far side. And a nip. Here's Hodge on the far boards, turns. Masters trying to get to it. Comes to Camazola, intercepted. Here's George with it now, trying to come in front. Does George yeah. go? Oh goodness, was he due? Odin George has had so many opportunities tonight and has not been able to put the puck. Now Odin George, back to the point. Shot, SCORES! Carter Matthews with a shot from the point. It was not that hard, but it was effective. And the work of, there's a shot by Tom and a big save by Cristiano off the feed from Tardif. Now back to the point. There's a shot by Larkin, he SCORES! Ludovic Tardif. And the Kodiaks with two goals in, what do we got? 19 seconds. <laughs> Along the boards, Barrett in front. Masters a shot, rebound, and score! I think, yes, they're calling it a goal. The net came off the pegs, but after the puck went in, and I think Spencer Masters scores, but meantime, Cole Barrett is down on the ice inside the Drayton Valley blue line. Play it across now for Blake Green. Green brings it in. He gets knocked down. And the Thunder come up with a puck and just get it out and brought in here. Bessie, shot, score. Across to Grenier, fires a shot over top of the net. There's Yatsishin now. They'll get it back to the point to May. Yatsishin. Pass across, shot, save, and it goes in. Now pass out through center. That was blocked. Now, turn to the corner. Here's Gherkin with it now. A shot saved by Pratt. Rebound. They score.
to behind the net. Penalty's over. Cooper Brown with the puck. He'll get it back to the point. Roberts dumps it into the corner. Now back to Fusion. Shot. Score. And for the first time this series, the Drayton Valley Thunder. Gallo leads it for Bedorf. Across to Brenner. Up ahead for Green. Chips it in. Here's a Bryson. Across. Gallo scores! Bradley Gallo will tie this up in the Kodiaks. Have answer right back as they have done these last two hockey games. And... Thunder with pressure here, and George will relieve this as he'll get it to Masters. Across for Hodge. Here's Ty Hodge. Walks in, drops it back. Brenner, shot, scores! Oh my goodness! What a shot from Brady Brenner! And boom, into the... Taken by Moffat on the right wing side. He'll bring it to center. And walks in and scores. And just after the power play ended, Jace Moffat, who returns to the Drayton Valley lineup. Actually, but that was a big hit into the boards by Odin George. And now Hodge steals the puck. He shoots, save, rebound. There's a shot. They score! The Kodiaks are moving on to the Alberta Junior Hockey League playoffs. And the hero is the former Drayton Valley Thunder forward, Odin George. A huge hit right before the shot. And goes in by Cristiano and the Kodiaks.